what's up guys what's happening it's your boy alex welcome to another episode of scary fridays episode three all right like always it's gonna be animation a paranormal video and a short horror film this is what our lineup's looking like tonight. We got the homie Stranger Stories, Sir Spooks, and Social House Films. Triple S, all S. All right. As you can see today, got my snacks. Got my popcorn. Shout out to the homie Gator. Kind of, I don't know if I got it from him. Whatever. I'll, I'll just say I got it from him. It smells buttery, but burnt. Yeah, it's a little burnt. Let me see. Let me see. Nah, it's kind of bland. No worry, though. No worries. Pam! Gotta season this bitch. That's why I got the backup, because to me, it's never buttery. Oh, damn, that was a lot. Oh, it's because I cook. I, I fucking poured it like this instead of leaving this shit on there. This one's from Stranger Stories, and it is called The Amusement Park. Scary Stories. Oh, so it's probably multiple. Anyways, without further ado... Y'all ready? Because I'm not. Let's go. Mom, I don't like it. I want to get off. I was a bit surprised. He had always been so brave. I was way more afraid than him when we got on. I never liked to be so high up from the ground. This will be so much fun. Me he had said when we were parking the car. I had kind of hoped that he would be strong for both of us. Oh, honey, I'm sorry that we can't get off now. The ride has already started. But Jump remember out. the small roller coaster in the park we went to when you were little with the funny clown? This is just like that, only bigger. And remember how awesome it was? No. My son looked at me with watery eyes. Oh, God, you have been so excited about this. I tried to swallow my own nervousness and keep talking to him to calm him down. My voice was shaking a bit, but I managed to put on a smile. It's okay. You might feel a bit funny in your stomach. It's because of the speed and the changes in the force that pushes you. It's normal. Listen, do you hear me? Other people are scared too. He looked at me with his kind blue eyes and nodded. Just barely. I wanted to hug him, but my back was pressing to the seat so heavily I couldn't move enough. So it was his. My eyes caught a glimpse of the sun over my son's head. The sky was so bright. I tried to ignore the metallic clanging sound and people screaming somewhere that seemed to be far away. Oh, how I missed the ground. Then I felt a big drop on my stomach. We were going faster and faster. My son started sobbing, and I tightened my grip on his hand. I thought he would become such a handsome man someday. He would end up having a good life and marry a nice girl. Or a... I, who knows? Marry a nice guy or a girl. Hey, he could be... He could be bi. He could be gay. <clears throat> Yeah, I can't do roller coasters. Hell no. I remember I went to Vegas. Not not the vlog I shot, but I went to Vegas for the first time the year before that. Well, last year. I went to a roller coaster. I think it was in Circus Circus. Yeah, upstairs. When they have that little amusement shit. I don't know what's it called. But I went on that roller coaster with my lady. Damn. I was nauseous for a bit. I can't do the dips when it goes down. I'd be like, ah. 
I'm a bit afraid of heights, but that was inside. So I thought I was going to be good. Like it was inside the building. So I was like, okay, I'm not going to see myself drop from like, you know, 50 stories. But nah, still, still messed me up. I didn't care as long as he was happy. That's all I wanted. For him to be happy and not scared. Hey, you know what? Close your eyes. This will be over soon. I'm yeah. here. I'm not letting go. That's what I do. Someone behind us started to scream. I felt my blood run cold. Why? I tried to keep my focus on the one thing that mattered. My son's hand. My calm voice kept telling him that it was going to be okay. Okay. Oh, he would become such a handsome man someday. But at this moment, he was just a six-year-old boy on his first flight, going to surprise his grandparents all the way across the country. And the last thing I saw before I closed my eyes was the second engine on fire. Well, on to the next video. NEXT! Alright, this one is called 5 Scary Ghost Videos to Watch All Alone from Jaboy Sir Spooks. I, haven't, I don't think I've seen him in a while. No, actually I did. Yeah, I have. All right. Last week was kind of uh So hopefully this week these two make up for it. Let go. Oh shit. No, 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 no. All right, cool. Hello everyone, my name is Sir Spooks, and today we'll take a look at five scary ghost videos to watch all alone. So, let's begin. Imagine you're relaxing in your hotel room, trying to wind down for the night, when you have an unseen and definitely unexpected visitor. It seems like that is exactly what happened to Reddit user 6660 Evil, who shared the following video on my Sir Spook subreddit. Let's take a look and see what the upload has been experiencing. first seemed like somebody on the other end of the door pulling on the handle vigorously is quickly proven to not be the case as the uploader starts to panic but finds it in himself to finally open the door only to find the bathroom completely empty That's with scary. nobody or nothing inside of it if i knew i was alone the video ends just after this but it is an amazing and highly creepy video mm -hmm. that will leave you asking many questions Mm -hmm. What could have possibly been causing the door handle to shake like that? Mm -hmm. Was it a ghost? Was it a friend of his hiding out of view? Um, or was it a clever edit? Be maybe. sure to leave your ideas in the comments below. It could be, maybe. Mm -hmm. At 
TikTok user named Danny Perez shared a video to the popular video sharing platform on May 4th, 2020, that proves that you can experience strange activity no matter where you are. In the start of the video, Danny says, It's 1 a.m., I'm in my studio, and proceeds to say, I'm hearing noises again. Truth is, but is too frightened to even finish his sentence. La una. Estoy acá en mi estudio. Puta madre. Otra vez vuelvo a sentir ruido. La verdad que. So, what could possibly make Danny so frightened at his studio at such an early hour? Well, we never actually see what it is, but we do see this. La una. Estoy acá en mi estudio. Puta madre. Otra vez vuelvo a sentir ruido. La verdad que... Escucha la luna. Es guitarra. There could have been a string that we just can't see in the video. Danny's panic breathing sounds quite authentic, which does oh. add to the credibility of the video as a whole. I couldn't imagine how scary it must be to be working in your studio late at night when suddenly something like this happens. Surely you wouldn't be able to get any more work done that night, and you'd have to wait for tomorrow morning. Shit. Let's just hope that Danny is doing better now and hope he doesn't have this problem anymore. I'll wait for somebody to join me okay? the next day. Woo! Damn. Woo! Rick Flair, that was still alive? That's season four, cold as balls. Not to be a dick, Lake but Shaw damn. Paranormal shared the following 30 second clip over on their YouTube channel on November 11th, 2019. In the video, it seems as if one of the channel owners is doing a small paranormal investigation inside a house, which seems fitting for a paranormal channel. However, I doubt that the folks over at Lakeshaw Paranormal expected to get spooked so early in their investigation. Take a look. How soon? Not gonna leave until you give me a sign. Movement back there. You saw that? Shadow. Shadow like came out. From yeah, the, I saw that. Where the heater is, and went back the other way. I got it on video. You can see it. It was short. It What's was the like radio? Is that the static from shit from the ship? Wait, what? It doesn't take long at all after the man asked the potential spirit in the room to show itself for something oh. weird to happen. In fact, it's just a few seconds later in which you can see a fast blur move across the wall, which could very well be a shadow figure making a brief appearance. This is definitely one of those videos that you might have to watch a few times before you finally notice what is going on. But as soon as you see it, you will definitely get goosebumps and the hair on the back of your neck is sure to stand up. Mm. What do you think the shadow was? Am I was in shadow person? Figure, some sort of paranormal entity, or was it something else entirely? Let me know in the comments. Damn, I just noticed I put a, I dropped a whole lot of that buttered powder shit on my steering wheel. Okay, I can't clean it now because my light's gonna fall. <sighs> shit. And I'm over here telling everybody else how to make a mess. Yeah. That one didn't give me any chills. I'm good. I'm chilling. I'm still paranoid, though. Twitter user Aubrey Beatrice took to the platform to share this extremely creepy video. It may be a short clip clocking in just 11 seconds in length. But sometimes, the weirdest videos aren't the lengthiest. Aubrey explains, quote, We filmed the scene for our L. Feely play trailer in the control room of our auditorium. After this happened, we were too scared to continue the taping. 
Rewatching this even years later, observing every detail, I still can't find a scientific explanation. End quote. So, without further ado, let's, let's take a look at the bizarre shit. footage that Aubrey captured that day. Go! Knock, 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 go! Fin, fin, happy, go at it! Fin, on a bukas? Go! What happened? Knock, 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 go! Fin, fin, happy, go at it! Fin, on a bukas? I think I saw it. Although it sort of appears as though the woman behind the door opened it, that is actually not the case. Furthermore, by enhancing and slowing down the footage, it is possible to see a creepy looking face hiding in the darkness behind the woman. Okay, yeah, that's what I'm thinking about. It's to our right, yep. Yeah, okay. Go! Knock, 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 go! You can barely see it like that, but when Obviously, I enhance the light, because we couldn't like see that. what was going on from the other woman's Bam. point of view, we will just have to take her word and assume that she didn't open the door. We gotta assume. But the fact that Aubrey is convinced all these years later that this door opened all by itself is incredibly weird. It kind of did look like it though. Was it an eerie ghost behind her that did it? Let's just hope that one day hmm. Aubrey will get the explanation that she definitely needs. It was that for right there. Go. Knock, 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 go. <laughs> I saw that. You see how her hand was down? I open and then she. I don't know. She On July 7th, 2009, a man named Billy Smith went out exploring the haunted Sorrel Weed House somewhere within Savannah, Georgia. Although the video is definitely grainy due to the fact that it is 11 years old, it is still a truly eerie video and one that will creep you right out. The uploader insists that there was absolutely nobody else around the area at the time of the following incident, and says that only his car was parked nearby, nobody else's. He says that if somebody pulled up to the location, he definitely would have noticed it. Let's take a look and see the strange incident that unfolds. I saw something. Even the biggest skeptics are going to have a hard time explaining the ghostly figure walking down the steps before vanishing into thin air. Uh... Billy describes the figure that he saw as a woman dressed in a black full antebellum style dress and clutching a cape at her breast. I don't know if it's a walking ghost. across a porch. So what do you think this figure was? I don't know what was it a ghostly woman making an appearance I don't know late at night? One single popcorn was this mouth. just a person wandering around? that Billy didn't notice earlier on. Or is this just one big hoax? Be sure to let me know all of your theories in the comment section. And that was five scary videos to watch all along. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, then subscribe for more scary content. My name is Sir Spooks, and I'll see you all in the next video. Any slight movement as you pause. Okay. Oh, fucking nice on me. Well, there's that video. Next! Okay, so this next and final video is called Costumes. Costumes. And it's by our boys over at Short Horror Films. <clears throat> I think this they put this one out Halloween. And I'm just now getting to it. But based on the thumbnail, it doesn't look too shabby. But uh, let's let's get into it. Let me drink some real quick.
This popcorn, ugh. this popcorn is kind of whack. All right, y'all ready? Let's go. <clears throat> Different chick. Hope you're not wearing a sexy nurse something. Is that her? I think I know what's coming. How about I wear you for Halloween, bitch? Okay. Hold on, let me let me stop it right. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. I mean, I don't want to put us on the spot. But that's that's the kind of humor me and my lady have. It's funny. That was good though. I like that. All right. I'm sure I know what's coming up. Watch. Oh, shit. Don't you dare look. <clears throat> Aren't those the eyes right there? Hold on, I got a cough. <coughs> I didn't want to ruin it. <clears throat> okay, good. All right, let's go. That fool sound like he's slithering for that poo. <laughs> Wait, so she was wearing a nurse costume. She looks like, um, what are those names? What are they called? With her blood. She did a good job with her face paint, or, I mean, that's probably a mask. You cut into that easily? Bitch said. The nails don't look sharp. I thought 
she's gonna put on her whole skin. See the tall man? That was a good one. You know what's cool about these people? Hold on. Oh, not these people, but these. About short horror films. Is that it? You know what's cool about um, social house films is that, like, after every video they make, well, not right after, but like, mostly for every video that they have, they put of the making of blank. So they show you how they make the video. So I think they already have this one out. Which is cool, because then when you watch that, you feel like it's less scary. So it's better if you watch the real shit before you go watch the making of it. Because then you're going to know what's going down. I kind of chose these out of the way too, like literally right now. And they didn't scare me. I mean, just this last one was trippy. But yeah, I don't want to make this long as video. It's already a 30 minute video. All right, I'm gonna give this week a five, maybe. Yeah, maybe a five. If that, that's kind of generous. Yeah, but yeah, anyways. All right, hope you guys enjoyed this third episode of Scary Fridays. Like I said, I'm gonna keep these this series I guess it's a series. I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna try and keep it going for as long as I can. Put them out every Friday. And um, see, let me let me know if you guys enjoy it. What I should implement? Any suggestions? Let me know. Put them down in the comments. And I will reply. I most likely reply to all my comments. But yeah. If you guys enjoy make sure to like comment subscribe if you want to and i'll see you guys on the next one on other reactions and whatever on the next one later <laughs>